Okay, so let's talk about big SUVs and their problems. So just yesterday I had a guy that drove three hours each way to see me to help him fix his car daily because the radio doesn't work, the parking sensors don't work, the navigation uh, didn't work. So uh, after diagnosing, uh, it, he needs an amplifier. So uh, uh, I'm going to get him dead and send him and he should be okay uh, as the uh, radio was okay. In his case, he went to a dealer, they told him he needs something else. Uh, gave him part number for a one CD player that he doesn't have in his car, he has a six CD uh, changer. Uh, so, long story short, he spent already as much as he paid for the car. So, uh, you know, and he's keep uh, keeping, uh, you know, he, he still repairs, you know, what it needs, you know, uh, it always uh, something. So uh, that's what I don't recommend. The Volvo 2003, the XC90 series, four, five. The T6 model was in uh, 2003 and 2004. I believe these are the worst uh, out of uh, all of them, you know. Uh, so. Uh, transmission 100% failure rate engine uh, is also I think GM transmission is GM uh, but the engine was kind of okay holds up not but not the transmission so uh, and plus on top of it there are all other problems that will uh, ruin uh, your wallet so uh, Never, ever, ever, ever come even to uh, consider buying a Volvo XC90 T6. Uh, so another one would be a 2005. I mean, another one would be, uh, you could you could still consider XC90 three, four, five, six with five-cylinder engine. But low mileage because higher mileage ones uh, I mean I'm talking about over 100, 100 let's say 20 30 thousand the engine starts knocking uh, usually because uh, it's overworked for, for, for all the miles because it's such a huge SUV and heavy so that engine is uh, way too small for it you know it, it works okay because of the turbo so uh, I don't recommend any of these over 100,000. Uh, if you find one with low mileage, it's fine. If you don't tow anything, you know, and change oil on time, should be okay. And uh, because, you know, if you buy higher mileage one, have to change engine. Uh, to find the low mileage engine, problem. You know, all the work, spending $2,000 not worth it these days so it's better to buy uh, 2007 and up uh, you can buy them fairly inexpensively now which are improved uh, over the 2003-45 also 2005 V8 that's the worst ever V8 uh, year uh, year for V8 so uh, 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 I don't recommend it uh, all of them go bad it's a, an engine made by Yamaha and uh, uh, Volvo modified it and uh, the way they modified it uh, it struggles uh, for oil so it goes bad of course and uh, uh, that's the worst year ever so uh, 2006 didn't have these problems and of, of course uh, later on was also okay but these take a lot of gas, okay? So uh, these are very hungry engines and uh, it will eat as much as you put it in. So uh, uh, 
just be aware of that. Uh, that that 3.2 liter engine is okay engine. Uh, it came out of uh, uh, Great Britain, and it's also installed on Range Rovers. So uh, yeah, it's okay. I have a couple of these, and they run okay, and don't have problems with them. Um, the 2007 improved, you know, uh, over the all the years. Looks the same, but uh, way less problems, and they are already good cars. But you know, I think their reputation is, you know, that they are bad because of the, you know, early ones made with GM. So uh, yeah, and also. I, if you don't live in a mountain area, if you mostly drive on flats, I do recommend front wheel drive XC90. You have no differential, you have no drive shaft. Uh, they are still very uh, capable of uh, SUVs. Um, drive so much better because uh, there is uh, no drive shaft. Yeah, it, it runs more like a front wheel, you know, front wheel drive car. So uh, uh, I like them better because of the simplicity. Uh, they are better on gas. And uh, if you ever need to, let's say, change tires, you can change two tires. You don't have to change four tires. Let's say, like, you have to do it on all wheel drive cars. So. Uh, yeah. If you ever have any uh, questions, you can comment, you can ask me if you're considering buying an SUV. I know XC90s are uh, good X, uh, SUVs. People don't really die in these. They are the, the safest, I think. They, people almost die, okay? Because of the, the repair bills, but they still live, okay? so. Uh, uh, I, I I still recommend these cars, and I I, I myself uh, use them, and uh, uh, recommend it. Okay, so uh, 2007 and up, good cars. Uh, you know, uh, not that many issues. Really simple. Uh, bulletproof SUVs and you can ride it for a long time uh, the, uh, the only thing you know I think the tires uh, were sooner on this and uh, uh, if it goes to any other maintenance very simple uh, these are very simple uh, behind the times SUVs not as complicated as let's say German ones, you know, Audi, uh, BMW, Mercedes, so uh, this, you can buy one very cheaply, maybe uh, let's say $6,000 for 07 model, uh, six, seven grand, and it will last you a really long time and uh, shouldn't give much problems, but just stay away from uh, 2003, 4, 5, and 6, uh, and you'll be okay. So uh, I hope that ha uh, helps and uh, you may subscribe and uh, for more videos there will be always more.